check the mic and make sure it sound right boy. hey everyone new video and now i'm very happy to announce that i have bought the ipad pro 2020 11 inch wi-fi only version with 256 gb so this is an amazing machine amazing uh, device and i'm so happy that the device came itself with ios 14.3 so what i did i immediately jailbroke it with taurine now and i have cilio so usually I, I i use uncover but now i really wanted to try taurine and i have to say works really well no hiccups no battery drain uh, i've been using it with with jailbreak for the past week so it's pretty cool and pretty stable jailbreak Let's get into it. I have uh, 10 uh, jailbreak tweaks, which is a must to have them when you first time jailbreak your iPad, right? So the first one in alphabetical order is called copy lock. So the copy lock tweak, famous one, paid tweak is two and a half bucks. So it just makes your uh, experience with copying and pasting the text so much easy so much elegant so when i do this i press copy as you can see it will appear here so here i have this is not let's remove this let's remove this i have it twice so when i do the uh, copy of the whole thing right i i can copy it here and i can just see what kind of snippets i have when i press and hold on a snippet i can remove it uh, when I press and hold, I can make it favorite, and then when I go to favorites, I can see it here, or I can do it and make it unfavorite, right? And it keeps it keeps all those snippets with you all the time. When I type anything here and I do the uh, copy again, when you go to your snippets, you will see that the new thing is here. So you can really move along and uh, copy. I think maximum is 100 snippets, but by default it's set to 60. So this is copy log and pretty amazing tweak, my number one. The second one is, let's go here, is Dawn. Dawn tweak, tweak is a free tweak and I really like it because it makes your individual elements of iOS dark, right? So you can choose whether you want banners to be dark, dock, default light or dark, widgets, notification center buttons, folders, lock screen media play. So I put everything to be dark except for the application themselves. Right, so when you go here, you will see that my dock is dark and my folders are dark as well. So I kind of like this, this uh, look, but it's a uh, light mode altogether. So this is number two, this is Dawn. Okay, now number three is a new tweak and it's called Dust Buster. Now, Dust Buster is a, a tweak that reminds us with functionality, reminds us of what? Reminds us of uh, iCleaner. Now, this is a free tweak and it just scans your device for unnecessary files and then you can, you can safely delete those files. As you can see, it brought me and there is like, I don't know, 44 megabytes, 44 megabytes of files that I can clean. I can start cleaning those files and it will just, you know, delete those cache files, unnecessary files, and then it will do the respring. We have a must have, it's basically an app, it's not just a tweak, it's Filesa. And Filesa is very useful on this big screen where you can go through documents, applications, root files, scripts, uh, music library if you have one and you can go through individual apps that are installed so when you go to gmail you can see the documents all data that is inside of these of these uh, apps so this is a free basic version but you can purchase it for six dollars from the repo that i'm already posting there so it's it's a must have must have app for your jailbroken uh, device the next week next week is just for the fun of it it's last look tweak it's two dollars and it gives you the always on display mode if you prefer that or it will give you a short mode when you lock your device like this so it will give you time and date or some notifications if you prefer so this is pretty cool tweak and i highly highly recommend it you can you know you can customize it you can see uh you can disable it when 
the battery is low or when the low power mode is enabled or when do not disturb is, is enabled so you can do you can do many things if you want always on um, AOD mode enabled just be aware that it might it might drain your battery a little bit more so that's the last look the one tweak that I want to show you is a free one and it's a must-have for iPads it's called no more small apps so no more small apps now I don't have it installed but why I'm showing without it because for example when we go to when we go to Instagram page Instagram app for the iPad you see how ugly it is right so basically it's a it's a lot even uh, with this button over there I mean I made it uh, full screen otherwise it's like this because it's mainly for it's mainly for iPhones now I'm gonna install the tweak I'm gonna show you quickly all right so I've installed no more small apps and I've zoomed out a little bit so you can see now when I go to settings no more small apps it's enabled and the only thing that you can choose here is that you can select the apps to blacklist for the apps that you don't want uh, this tweak to work on so let's try it and see how Instagram looks like now so you see it's full screen and it gives you better overview of the whole of the whole thing so this is pretty neat tweak and I would say it's a must-have for big screens no more small apps the next one is shuffle tweak the shuffle tweak just sorry the shuffle tweak uh, just gives you these three categories of uh, documents and apps on the left hand side so it organizes it in a nice way so you don't have to scroll all the way down to find your tweaks so these are the settings you know you can uh, enable 3d touch insert tables blah, blah. i'm not using any of this you can use the banner image if you want you can change the title of these three categories etc etc so this is what the shuffle tweak does and it's a must have for any newly jailbroken device another one three dollars snapper 2 now snapper 2 is the one which i cannot live uh, without and i highly recommend it for everyone and this tweak, when you press the, uh, when you want to do the screenshot, it doesn't do the screenshot. It gives you the option to take the portion of the screen as a screenshot, double tap. And you can see that this can be moved around anywhere you want. So it can be, it can, you can dump it in the trash. You can have the OCR uh, uh, text uh, recognition. You can save it as a, an image or a barcode, or you can, uh, you have the other option which is sharing with uh, through messages or email or whatever you you prefer so this is snap 2 pretty awesome must have tweak especially for these for these big screens uh, like iPads it's a tap tap lock free tweak which is you know of course a must have you can enable it or you can it, it just closes your it locks your device by double tapping the uh, home screen or you can set it for triple tap. I like double tap. So this is what it does. It just locks the screen and then, you know, you don't have to press the buttons anywhere around. And the final one, number 10, number 10 is VLOX Reloaded 2. Now, mainly uh, this, this tweak is pretty cool for the uh, iPhones, which gives you an additional set of uh, widgets on your home screen, but on the on the uh, iPad, you have the widgets visible only when in landscape mode, right? So when I want to change this, I can add the widget from here, and you can see by default, these are the widgets from VLOX. When I swipe, I get the normal widgets, you know, normal iOS 14 widgets. When I swipe back, I get these widgets so I can put this clock if I want and I can add it on the side so these are the widgets which are uh, set here by Vlox this is pretty useful so you can really uh, turn off the Wi-Fi or turn on the Wi-Fi on the spot you can see the time or you can add other stuff so this is it guys thank you for watching another amazing video by me and these are the 10 must-have weeks for your newly jailbroken iPad Pros 2020.